Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This video tutorial covers the month, day, and year formulas. Let's take a look at my fake data set down here. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to use the AND symbol to combine the first and last name of my evaluators, or to do last name comma first name. Now let's take a peek at submit time. Okay, so when you're downloading your data from Zoomerang, SurveyMonkey, etc., you usually get a lot of details. I don't really care what time of the day and especially what minute or second somebody completed the survey. That's where month, day, and year come in handy. Okay, so month, day, and year. You can just do equals month, select your submit time right here, press enter, and now you get something that looks a little silly. Let's just fix that. We need to change the format to a number or remove some decimal places. Now we know they submitted it in August. Double click. Equals day does the same thing. We can tell what day of the month they completed the survey. Maybe that's all you're interested in. Change the format from custom to number, remove decimal places. Now we've got the day. Maybe you just care what year they completed the survey if you're collecting data over a long period of time. And again, don't despair if it looks a little bit funny. Just change it to a number format and remove the decimal places. Let's put this all together. Now in my example, I wanna know what month and what day they completed the survey. So we're going to do equals month, select our submit time, we're going to use the and symbol and add in a little dash right here between the month and the day, put another and symbol, uh, type in day, submit time, press enter, 8-22, August 22, double click, and there we've got it, super fast, month and day, all I really care about. That's the month, day, and year formula. Thank you.